Hello everyone. Hope everyone can see me and uh, hear me as well. Let me check on my phone at the same time. This is the first time we're doing YouTube live. Great, excellent, it's working. Good, thank you, thank you, Jason, thank you very much. Uh, let's wait for a few more people to join. And as usual, we can start the AMA in a few minutes. Hey, good evening. Um, let's give a few more minutes. Uh, we just got only 14 uh, participants so far. Uh, we will wait for a few more minutes and once everyone joined, then we will stop the AMA. Yeah, it became a family culture right now. Every Thursday comes in, everyone has been waiting for like whole week. Hey, when the Thursday will come, when we're gonna have a catch up, when we're gonna have the updates. It's exciting, right? Okay, I think uh, we still have only like 18 participants so far. Um, we will wait for maybe another few more seconds and then I will start with as usual updates. And afterwards we will jump into the questions as usual. All right, we can start now. Um, so I want to, as, as usual, we will go with a few updates to start with. And afterwards, um, uh, I, I will take questions from you. A uh, few updates, um, we just started. So um, there are a lot of people asking me about uh, LP staking. Um, there are a few issues on the LP staking. So uh, when, I went, when, the, when they're going to be resolved, the rewards and everything, Quite a few of our um, community members contacted me. Uh, new staking 
the program has already been started working on. It's almost at the uh, uh, end of the stage. And what we will be doing is in, in two to three weeks, we will be deploying the new staking program uh, and everyone will be migrated from the existing staking program, what we have to the new staking program. And when that happens, automatically all the LP stakers will see their rewards as per the APR mentioned. Um, uh, whatever the API you guys have, you will be able to see all the rewards in the new staking program because the entire code, everything has been refactored and it's it's completely up to date right now in the new program. So LP staking people, you have to bear with us for another two or three more weeks so that um, you guys will be able to see your uh, proper uh, rewards in the staking program, in, which is coming very soon. <clears throat> also coming to the chain, a lot of people um, ask me about, uh, I mean, they saw the updates and like, hey, when is the testnet v1 came? Uh, we don't, we, we were not really aware of. Uh, the testnet v1 was launched in the last AMA. Uh, so, uh, and that was um, here, uh, as everyone can see, it is scalopscan.com. Let me try to share my screen. I don't think I can share a screen here. All right, I, I'm, I'm trying to share. This is the first time we are doing it. It looks like we had, um, I'm not able to share the screen, but um, I, uh, I request everyone to check Scallop Scan, which is S-C-A-L-L-O-P-S-C-A-N.com. That's the explorer. Um, so pretty much we will be, uh, that is the V1 launched. And again, in the last AMA or in the last catch up, I mentioned that testnet will launch in four versions. The first one, which you are seeing is version one. Uh, this version one uh, is purely shows you uh, the blocks and uh, uh, and the, uh, with, with the centralized one validator and everything because we are building everything from scratch in consensus uh, with the tendermint as the core consensus because scallop chain is building on cosmos uh, we are a cosmos based blockchain we will soon be joining cosmos ecosystem uh, where we will be communicating with the other projects and and everyone and tendermint itself is directly building scallop chain um, so the whole progress will happen in four stages. The V1, what you're seeing, uh, what you're seeing right now, is the basic or the initial step of the uh, chain, which is fully functional uh, with the Cosmos Explorer. The version two will be we will have an ETH Explorer along with Cosmos Explorer because uh, Scallop Chain is mainly uh, a Cosmos SDK based blockchain with Tindermint as the core consensus, which ha which has Ethermint uh, overlaid on, on the top. So um, Scallop Chain is both Cosmos and also uh, e Ethereum based blockchain as well. Uh, so as a result, we will be having two explorers, one explorer for core Cosmos ecosystem and the other explorer is for the core uh, Ethereum based uh, project. So people, depending upon the requirements, they can deploy the core, they can deploy their dApps or smart contracts, uh, wherever they need it. Uh, and as a, uh, in, in this process, the V2 will be uh, launching of the ETH Explorer plus faucets, plus you will be able to add a scallop chain to your MetaMask as well. So as a result, you guys will be able to, with the draw tokens, test scallop tokens from faucet, uh, and you will be able to um, you know, add that into your MetaMask and then store the tokens in the MetaMask and everything. The version three uh, will be uh, more uh, uh, advanced, which is users will be able to deploy a dApps, any, any Ethereum-based app, you can take it, compile it, and then you can deploy it on Scallop Chain. Uh, you can build smart contracts, you can mint a token, uh, you can do transactions in and out, and all those kind of things will be uh, operational from version three. Version four is the final leg where we will be having a fully integrated KYC system into the scallop chain. Uh, and then so the wallets and everything, whatever it is generated in scallop chain has to go through KYC and everything. Then only the wallets will be issued. After version four, we will have a devnet where everything that's when we will start having real validators and all those kind of things. It's kind of a transitional net. And once everything is working fine in DevNet, then we will go to the main net.
This is the whole roadmap. Uh, and scallopchain.com, our official Scallop Chain website, will be updated with all the details uh, with the right requirement documents, which clearly stating how to deploy a DAP, how to deploy a smart contract, how to add Scallop Chain to MetaMask, how to get tokens from faucets, all every each and everything, just like any other Cosmos uh, chain you see um, very much. That is how uh, we are developing the um, documentations as well. With the help of Tindermint, we are doing everything. Uh, and because of the close relationship with Tindermint, uh, Tindermint also closely worked or developed other projects like Oasis or Terra. So we will be having a very close relationship with respect to uh, projects as well, like Terra and, 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 and Oasis or Iris and other people. So there will be some partnerships coming in as well, coming down the line. Uh, when we reach the DevNet, we will have a couple of hackathons. We will have a bug bounty. And we are also welcoming people to build on Scallop Chain where they will be having grants as well. So we will have a Scallop Labs where Scallop will be supporting innovative projects which will uh, <clears throat> contribute towards the development of the scallop chain. They will be uh, awarded with the fund and they will be uh, able to develop uh, on scallop chain and then contribute towards scallop chain as well. So, we, so all these things are being planned and they will be released one by one depending upon the timings and all the versions, as I mentioned, version one, version two, version three, version four, the roadmap will be released very soon on the website, but they all are uh, a four weeks gap between each other. So version one went around Jan last week or Feb 3rd. So after four weeks, you will have version two. After four weeks, you will have version three. After four weeks, you'll have version four. And after four to five weeks, we will have a, a, a DevNet. And after that, we will have the mainnet. We might launch the mainnet slightly early. Uh, looking at the progress how we are doing uh, but we're sticking still with the time of october we might be, go a bit early if needed if possible uh, if not we will we are, we are right ahead to go live in october that's purely about um, uh, the chain and everything and of course we will be joining a lot of ecosystems uh, for example map of zones where you will be soon seeing scallop uh, as a part of the cosmos ecosystem and um, um, and connecting with the other other uh, projects in, in the same ecosystem through IBC, you, you, you will be able to see all those things as well. And uh, we're also working on how Scallop Chain, what is the main aim of Scallop Chain, how we will be, um, how Scallop Chain will create the world's first regulated blockchain, how people will be making use of Scallop Chain because it is the only regulated blockchain. And we will be releasing, we will be talking more about what kind of use cases people can build on Scallop Chain that gives ideas to people. So all those things we are working on uh, already got a lot of interest from so many projects including uh, traditional fundraising people, traditional crowdfunding people where they usually raise funds using fiat um, and would, they particularly need KYC AML because they are doing shares and everything. If they want to do on blockchain, they don't have any other anywhere else to go except scallop chain. So now a lot of uh, equity based fundraised uh, projects are coming and approached us and then they want to build on scallop chain uh, and lots of um, uh, security based projects. They want to come, uh, they want to build on a scallop chain because of the core identity based wallet issuance is, is something unique where no other blockchain have. And of course, uh, a lot of family offices and investors are showing interest in, uh, in, in putting their investments in a blockchain where they know to whom they are giving money. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's going really well. We will release more details on uh, how people can build on Scallop Chain and, and uh, we will support and help um, each other to move forward. So uh, that's pretty much about the updates um, uh, overall. Uh, it would it could have been great if I was able to share. Apologies. Uh, probably next time I will be uh, able to share my screen and uh, take you through a couple of details and everything. But none other than uh, we will share all the details after this uh, AMA as well. Um, and uh, any other questions, anything, please uh, let us you know. I request everyone to ask questions um, uh, in the chat. Uh, and then what we will do is like, we will I will take those questions one by one and then uh, we will carry on until uh, nine. Um, and after that, we will, uh, we will close the catch up. Yeah. So please drop your questions uh, in the chat. I will come back, uh, I, I will answer one by one. If, it, if there is any repetitive, I will, you know, please don't ask the question, but 
Uh, uh, any other questions, please leave it over there. I'll come back. So let's start with uh, Nimic Maniac. Hey, Coin Revolution. Um, uh, hello, Raj. Uh, is Russia a interesting market for scale-up? <clears throat> and uh, if, what are your plans for it? So I'm not on, yeah, Russia is a very interesting market for us since the beginning. Um, uh, and uh, our aim is not only Russia, not only India. A lot of people ask me the same question last in the last AMA as well. India opened its uh, gates as well. Our our aim is to serve as many people as possible. So scale up is already uh, our compliance and regulatory team is already working very hard uh, to get global regulations. That means uh, licenses which allow scale up to provide banking services, crypto services. Uh, you know, all these kind of security-based services. So, I mean, we have security licenses pending uh, that will allow uh, people to do um, REITs on Scallop. Um, you can do, or you can tokenize a flat or a house or a land, and then we can give it, I mean, the beauty of Scallop chain is that is the only regulated blockchain in the world where every user, every wallet is fully KYC and AML, and the funds inside Scallop can only be sent between two regulated wallets. You can't send it to anywhere else. That's the beauty. And we have we line, we have a lot of licenses lined up. And with all these licenses, we are aiming to provide uh, global services. That means it's just not Russia, it's just not India, uh, as many countries as possible. And we are hoping within 12 to 13 months, we will be able to serve around 100 countries. We are hoping. We are working very hard. Uh, but uh, by definitely uh, by end of next year, we, are, we, have, we will be able to serve more than 100 countries, that is for sure. Uh, but we're working hard. Our, our regulatory teams are working very hard. It just, um, because we have the technology almost getting ready, it just using the same technology with different uh, um, regional uh, fiat services. That's the major difference. Crypto is global, always been. So uh, we are looking forward to uh, providing services in Russia as well. Uh, and it, will, it might take a while, but as I mentioned, it will take 12 months a minimum um, to go anywhere outside uh, UK, Europe, uh, Canada, what we have right now. Um, and let me go back to, sorry, oh, so many, <laughs> I can see a lot of questions already here. Okay, uh, Russia is making Bitcoin a legitimacy. Yeah, I answered that question already, uh, Leroy. Um, and uh, Jonathan, I make, that's a good question on LP. Uh, will the original stakers be compensated? Yes, Jonathan, as I mentioned before, when you get migrated to the new staking program, uh, you will automatically see all your tokens since the day you were staked uh, there with all the rewards, right rewards based on based on the uh, APR, whatever it is. Uh, we know that there is a uh, APR calculation uh, issue over there. So we, it's already been corrected, but it's corrected and deployed in the new program, which is going live pretty soon. Um, so that's all been resolved over there. Can you elaborate on the actual mechanism for burning? So <clears throat> uh, Jason, on burning, we are, okay. A lot of people doing burn, burn mechanism, but being scale up, um, I'm very, very particular with rules, regulations, compliance, very, very particular. There is no room, no gap for any kind of, of flaws in regulations or compliance. I, I take it very serious, at most serious. So as far as I know, with my legal knowledge and compliance and regulatory knowledge, burning a token become, makes a token as a security. It's against the law. We, uh, any, any government has been saying, we need to have a special security license to burn a token legally. So we found the way, We, as I mentioned before, we have the licenses pending, it's coming very soon. And once it comes, then we will officially openly burn the token. No government can come, come to us and stop us because we're legally doing regulatory wise. We, I don't want to be, I don't want to do things like how Binance is doing and then afterwards they come and they, they, you know, they got shut down by the governments. We don't want anything like that. For us, regulations is very important. For scale up, working with government is very important because we want to work with governments. We want to work according to regulations and laws. And of course, we want to we want to create an infrastructure and ecosystem where both banks and fiat um, ecosystem and also crypto can, can all come together in one place and we, we facilitate the exchange of transfer of on-ramping and off-ramping on scale-up chain. 
So yes, uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, we we have a burn mechanism, uh, and this burn mechanism, of course, through scallop chain, where a token can be burned, or a certain version of the transaction can be burned, uh, and also uh, there will be um, kind of once we have the security, we, there will be a, um, a, a kind of uh, game or a kind of um, what do you call it as uh, uh, getting the tokens back and then burning it. We have several. Uh, programs you're planning, burn mechanisms, and all these details will be revealed very soon once the license has been acquired. It will take two to three months to introduce the burn mechanism, just to let you know. Okay, and... Okay, hello Raj, any update on the LP staking contract on pancake swap? Uh, LP staking contract, it's already been there. Um, we already have all the details given in a Medium article. What I will do is I will, after this AMA, we will repost all the details of the uh, LP staking once again. But the only issue in the LP staking is some of the members not getting right APRs. That is a known issue, which is already been resolved in the new LP staking program, which is going live very soon. Apart from that, um, getting I mean, participating in LP staking is absolutely working fine, no issues at all. Uh, but the contracts and everything that will be, um, we will repost once again after this AMA. Uh, okay, and when do you expect to open more spots for the app? <clears throat> so we just finished uh, European-based uh, full-fledged integration testing. Uh, we are uh, also in process of testing the UK site. What's happening is right now we are integrating the cards uh, to the accounts where the card transactions are automatically mapped to the accounts. And of course, we're issuing virtual cards and everything. Those kind of testing is going on right now. So we're hoping maybe it will take another two weeks to three weeks um, to open fully for the existing users so they can start uh, using the accounts uh, along with the virtual cards. And, and of course, then after that, we will open more spots for more users to uh, try and test the application. <clears throat> LP stakers are not getting rewards for more than, uh, I, I answered that question already. Uh, token release schedule for IDO monthly or total. Um, so Nazir Siraji, so I have to tell you one thing guys, since beginning we are very, very clear that the token release schedule happens linearly and it is daily. And it has been even before the release in fact, I said second wise, maybe some of our family members can correct me. In fact, I said every second it will release because a lot of people asking second wise is hard to uh, claim it. We made it daily now. So tokens are releasing linearly daily um, and that's how it is. And then you can come anytime you want, you can claim your tokens and um, uh, you can stake them or you can uh, use them wherever you want to. <coughs> Scallop have plans to expand to Brazil. Uh, yes, we have plans to come to South America and also Africa. As I mentioned before, uh, we have plans to come uh, not only in few countries to as many countries as possible, aiming to come at least 100 countries, hopefully by uh, mid next year. It's been more than two months since I was restricted in uh, uh, Telegram group and Perkin someone. Okay, uh, please contact our admins. They will be able to help you. Um, thank you, Coin Revolution. Raj, could you update on the progress of the app for May launch? I am whitelisted, not uh, capable to log in because KYC is not yet finalized, which I should expect to have KYC. Uh, KYC checks. So uh, as I mentioned before, right now, uh, KYC there has there there will be a couple of okay. <clears throat> so as I mentioned before. Um, when it, when, because we are doing full-fledged background check, when a user entering an address detail, that address is checked against the document they gave us. And that will be checked against the credit score. It can be, um, we will check against the electoral registry, we will check against the, your credit, credit history, credit card usage, your banking history, all those things will be checked. Because a lot of users, honestly, a lot of users who try to register on Scallop app, they haven't given the right address of theirs, their, where they're really staying, where they really uh, got their bank accounts from, where they really have their credit history from. If you give us a random address, which is not related to credit history, it will cause delays because we're not able to verify you, whether you're really a, a genuine candidate or whether you really, you know, it's all part of the AML checks we do. For us, checks is absolutely necessary.
survey. If people don't want to give the details, unfortunately, they won't get any services from Scala. So we, we assume to make life easier for users, what we're introducing is we made a couple of changes. We will be asking users to upload an ID document and also an address proof as well so that we don't have to do any kind of background checks going and everything. So we will take your address proof and against that address proof, we provide a bank statement. We will go and check against the bank statement in the background with the banking history and everything. So that way we will grab the address from the address proof you submit rather than the address you provide us. So this way we can fast the KYC process. In fact, it shouldn't take more than two minutes to get the whole KYC. A couple of users already got it in two minutes, provided that they're providing the right first name, right middle name, right last name, and right address. Um, and that, that should get everything clear uh, easily. But So we changed the KYC process slightly. So we don't take address from the user. We will take the address from the address proof they submit. So there are two more document requirements will be coming soon. Uh, and this has all been updated already. And uh, as I mentioned before, we are making a lot of changes in the back end as part of the upgrade. We are launching very soon in Canada around August. And then we are also planning to launch a few more services in other countries as well. So there has been a lot of uh, maintenance upgrade going on in the back end. That's where some people are not able to access the services. It, all these should go live in two to three weeks. And we will keep you posted on that one. Can you give us more information on the lending platform that you will implement? Would it be through partnership with others? Any idea on potential percentage APR? Uh, it's, so the lending, whatever it is, it will be open. So if you want to lend through Compound, Aave, Anchor, you will, for example, you say, I want to lend uh, 10,000 um, USDT. We automatically put it through all the lending partners. We will show it right away on your screen. It's up to you to choose. You can, if you want to go with Anchor, you can go with Anchor. If you want to go with Compound, you can go with Compound. So it's all your choice to go with. So we do have partners. We do have partners, and then based on those partners, you can choose whoever you want to go with, and then you will get this. Approximately, we are hoping, we are hoping to get around, uh, depending upon the market size, it will be around six to um, twelve percent uh, APR uh, as industry. Bear market it will be minimum seven eight, and bull market it will be eleven twelve as usual. Um, I hope I answered your question. Will Scalab support transactions from other blockchains to Scalab chain or transaction should be only between regulated blockchain? Good question, Amir. So the way inside Scalab, every transaction is within the Scalab chain. So because you can't make a transaction um, outside a regulated wallet. <clears throat> You might ask a question, then how I'm going to move my tokens to Ethereum if I want to, or how I want to bring ETH or USDT from Ethereum to Scallop. So Scallop, for example, you got your own wallet in Scallop and you got like 100 USDT in Scallop, you want to send it to an Ethereum. So through IBC, Scallop is in the center. Scallop has IBC, inter-blockchain connectivity, which connects, through, connects to other blockchains inside Cosmos, not only that, it has IBC, which takes you outside Cosmos ecosystem, which can be to Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, or Polygon, or something else. But Scallop will have substations, just like underwater substations. So these substations will be placed in between the IBC. For example, if you want to move your 100 USDT to ETH, you can give your 100, you have to come to Scallop substation, in the transaction, it happens automatically. You have to give your 100 USD to us. We will verify you. Where do you got the money from? Is it, for example, there might be a guy who wants to move 1,000 ETH or 100 ETH out of Scallop Chain, who is a hacker, try to hack the money, and he wants to get the, first of all, he can't move the money out of Scallop Chain. If he wants to move out, he has to come to Substation, submit all the money, all the transactions. We will check the whole history. Of course, all this happens in 20 seconds, but, if there are, if this genuine one, it automatically approves. And then we take those ETH and then we will give them a new ETH on the Ethereum chain separately. So here there is no bridge at all. It all happens through Scallop. There's no chance for somebody to hack. And if really somebody tried to hack on Scallop chain, accumulated some funds and those money not go anywhere because that money can't be transferred out of scallop chain and if there is any complaints we found anything then the money will be um, we will get a court notice and then the money will be refunded back to the wallets wherever the money came from that's what it is all about and of course we know the guy who it is so it will be handed over to the respective uh, crime departments as well so that is why scallop chain is fully secure 
um, there's a of course you can move funds out you can move funds in but the funds moving out of chain and coming in only happens through scale up substations and where we will take the money from you and then we will give the money on the other chain you can't move it yourself it's we do it after through proper checks and this all happens through chain analysis which will take care of the entire transactions own scallops own transaction monitoring system uh, which we already integrated in scallop chain which will monitor all the transactions especially for fraud uh, terrorist funds and all the black market on you know, dark webs and all those kind of things we will monitor and then we'll stop transactions coming and going out of this system as well that's already been, already been implemented by creating such a system only when we, we go to a government like australia canada such a safe system we're trying to create. That is why we are getting positive feedback. We are getting a red carpet from governments that, hey, you know, it is, it may be, you know, we're trying to create something. It may be 99% secure. It's far better than other chains where the vulnerabilities are very less and it's kind of safe and secure. So this kind of opens doors for banks to accept funds coming from scallop chain. That way we can bring crypto directly to the mainstream use where you can use your USDT on scallop chain, USDC on scallop chain, or any other stable coin on scallop chain. You can use it directly in your daily use, any shop, anywhere, because the funds have been very clear coming from where they're coming from. I hope I answered your question, I mean, in very in detail. Interoperability between other layer one or layer two. Uh, Nazar, I already answered that question in this explanation right now. Okay, and uh, you mentioned Terra in white paper. It speaks of using ART as stable coins. Uh, why did we depart from BNB towards Cosmos? Okay, hey, Jason, got it right now. So, <clears throat> so ART is a stable coin. So ART is the native stable coin of Scallop app, which is the banking application, which is the mobile app where you can store your fiat in Scala bank accounts and you can get crypto wallets, buy and sell between Scala uh, um, banking app, banking accounts and crypto wallets. There, ART is the stable coin. ART is the primary stable coin. You can store ART there. You can, you can do whatever you want over there. But we're talking about Scala chain. Inside Scala chain, there's nothing about Terra. Terra is another ecosystem, just like how Binance chain is the EVM compatible blockchain, Polygon is EVM compatible blockchain. Similarly, Scallop is a Cosmos blockchain and the Terra is a Cosmos blockchain as well. So there, there is a by default, we all built on the same ecosystem. So if you want to access Anchor, you don't need to hold Terra anymore. People on Scallop chain can access Anchor directly because Anchor is built on Cosmos as well. So you don't need to hold Terra anymore to access all these kinds of services. Similarly, people on people um, building on Terra, already on Terra, they don't need to have a separate ecosystem to access Scallop services because they're already on Terra. They can directly access Scallop services by, within, while staying in Terra itself because the base consensus is, 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 all, is the same. That is why we make, there is a lot of partnerships, possibilities for partnerships between Terra, Scallop, Oasis and Scallop, IrisNet and Scallop, or any other Cosmos-based uh, blockchain and Scallop. Why we move from BNB towards Cosmos? Very good question. Um, Cosmos is going to be the next uh, future. Um, the way the, the whole um, consensus mechanism was written is, is very, very high level. Even it surpasses um, the EVM-based blockchain, what BNB having right now. It's very old, the scalability, uh, and especially the um, for the, when it comes to the fiat-based, banking-based applications, the kind of scalability we need, this kind of interoperability we need, it's coming from Cosmos only. We won't be able to get it from other chains, as you said. That's where you see e-money was built on Cosmos, Terra was built on Cosmos. A lot of fiat, uh, you know, banking or transactions-based um, blockchains, they're mainly coming into Cosmos because that's going to be the future. Uh, even, it, even the technology on Cosmos surpasses uh, the substrate-based uh, technology as well. Um, and it is that is why we chose to go on Cosmos. And uh, and uh, the other other main reason is uh, Tendermint, the main consensus who built the consensus, they extended their support to Scallop, saying that guys, Scallop is absolutely awesome. We are happy to help you to build the whole blockchain, which we haven't got it from any other Ethereum-based uh, help um, on blockchains or anybody else. So we said, why not? You know, people who built 
the base consists they want to build scale up chain why not so we we went ahead and then we took their whole help and uh, it's, it's it's coming really it's a good decision we made and and it's coming really really well so you, we can see the results of it in in coming days could you dig a little bit more uh, igor asked a question could you uh, dig a little bit more about uh, uh, being a node validator in Scala ecosystem, do you have any specific info about uh, who could apply and what benefit it would bring? So, yes, we released some details before. Uh, it's uh, because Scala chain is a proof of stake. Uh, you need to stake some tokens. Uh, that's around ten thousand. Uh, we started with that, and um, uh, and the, initially there will be only fifty validators. Uh, people. Um, who hasn't got the chance to um, become a validator, they can delegate their tokens. They can choose one of the validator and they can delegate their tokens to that validator and they can participate in um, validating the, or are running a node. The benefit, uh, initially, 100% um, of the gas fee will go to the validators. Um, there is no burden functionality. Um, there is no uh, uh, percentage goes to the ecosystem or anything. 100% goes to the validators. So you guys are earning 100% of the money uh, which is generating uh, through uh, transaction charges. Um, that's the major plus. You will be also uh, enjoying some staking rewards as well uh, because you stake the token. So these are the benefits, just like any other proof of stake blockchain. Okay, uh, Romulus asked a question. I'm very interested in having a node. Uh, when are we going to have all the details about the node validator? I already released some details right now, um, as you just heard, but running a node really will happen only after DevNet. Um, so that is, we are looking around July, August time. That's when a real uh, node running program will start uh, because until unless we are not on DevNet, uh, you guys are not really running a, a real node or not getting any real transaction fee. So it will be around July, August when you guys really able to run a node. Uh, okay, Coin Revolution. My next question would be any news about the ambassador program? I send my application to you, but yes, oh yeah, that's something else. Thank you very much for reminding me. We had a huge, huge response for ambassador program. We received more than 270 applications. I can't believe. And it took uh, two of uh, our employees nearly like a week to go through the details. Now they almost finalized you know, people. Uh, and then we're going to release the details very, very soon. Uh, I mean, we had an overwhelming response uh, than what we thought. So it's taking us a bit longer than what we thought to finalize the people because of, you know, everyone are very, very good. Everyone have their own way of uh, uh, their own strengths in, in community, in, in their own strengths in conveying the details. Um, uh, it, it became a huge task for us to choose uh, the right person from all these people. Uh, none other than that, we will choose initially some people and then we'll slowly open more slots uh, instead of opening to people outside, we will choose people from the list you know from the candidates who applied right now so that is what we thought so the initial uh, batch of uh, ambassadors uh, will be released very very soon um, and they will be able to enjoy all the services they will be able to enjoy weekly salaries from us in scallop tokens um, access to scallop products um, uh, and, and, and also free elite membership all the services they will be able to enjoy uh, and what they have to do is like they have to um, weekly uh, every week they have to do a blog or a post or an article and then they have to post three posts on social medias like uh, uh, Twitter or uh, Facebook or Instagram or whatever they feel like. It's kind of, they have to do four things every week. Uh, imagine down the line when we have uh, accounts issued, when we have cards issued, you can walk into a shop, you paid something using a scallop card, you can take a picture and say, hey, I just had my coffee with scallop. So, so ambassadors are there to support and promote scallop everywhere we go. So you guys are, are, are technically you guys are scallop when you go outside. So um, that's what it is. And then we release more details very, very soon on, on, on people who got selected. Opinion on Equify, they look like your competitors. Okay, Equify, we know them very well. Um, they're not really our competitors, first of all. Uh, they're just a, a bank um, uh, and uh, they're offering uh, US-based bank accounts. Uh, and uh, they do offer some crypto wallets as well. As you, that side, yes, they have those services. I completely agree. But uh, if you try to open US accounts, uh, uh, I don't know how long it will take. So EKFI is just like a bank, but they're not a neo bank. You can't open just like Scallop, download the app, 
submit your ID card, address proof, get a bank account right away, get a card delivered, you can't do that on them. So we are in a more advanced stage than anybody else. That's what we are. And of course, they don't have a chain. Um, they don't have other products like you know payment systems, what we're talking about, uh, lending systems. Or they might have some lending system that they're, they're, they're planning to do it as well right now, looking at others. So they're not really uh, like Signum. Signum is a bank in Switzerland. They do it as well. So when Scallop becomes bank, that time we will surpass all these people. So uh, I don't really see them as a competitor, to be honest, right now, uh, because the way they provide services is slightly different than, than us, how we provide services. Hey, Javan. Uh, hey, Raj. Uh, with regards to Scallop Earn, would there be any additional avenues explored separately uh, from this already listed? I may have a good option to add it, uh, but I'm, yeah, definitely. We are, well, our aim is to bring DeFi to mainstream use. So we are planning to explore as many options as possible um, uh, uh, to bring, you know, to, to upgrade the Scallop Earn, which is different ways of earning money through, you know, through different DeFi protocols. Um, there's a lot of new protocols that are coming into the market. So we are keeping an eye on them. And of course, I mean, you know, community, our family is, is, is always been very, very helpful. And if you guys feel that um, Scallop will get benefit by partnering with someone like some of our family members recommended, we already taken that and then we're working on that one. You guys can introduce us to them or you guys can DM any of our admins or myself directly. Uh, and then we are always open uh, to you know, in, to look into the aspects of uh, things which will benefit Scallop in every way. So yes, Jalagan, you can DM me or uh, or you can leave all the you can you know leave the details in my DM. I will come back to you and then we, uh, we can take it forward from there. Okay, uh, sorry, unfortunately, I can't read your language. Sasej, if you can drop it in English, I might be able to answer them. Uh, what's the ETA on the new four years taking pull? Uh, three weeks, roughly three weeks, uh, Kamar. Uh, it's already been working on, and uh, we will release more details. Uh, you will see a timer coming in when it, when, it, when it's ready. We will keep you posted on that one. Hey, Jason, again, can you elaborate more on the delegation of wallets for the node and also do the delegate wallets locked in four years taking pool and receive rewards <coughs> for being delegated to node validator? So there will be a migration program uh, in place uh, where people will be able to, people, I mean, not every four year uh, staker like to run a node. If you really want to run a node, yeah, you have to move your all tokens or, or for example, if we have like 50,000 tokens staked, you can move 10,000, which is required to run a node. But remember, proof of stake always works on the concept of the maximum number of tokens you stake. The longer time will be chosen, you know, they will be chosen first to get the, uh, to validate the transaction. So it's all dependent upon the user. So there will be a migration program from four years to PYA system. And once it's moved, you will become uh, a, node, a node runner and then you can, you can run the node. Is it possible to optimize a staking website for a mobile version? The new one which we'll be releasing is mobile friendly and you will be able to use it for mobile as well. With the earn accounts, the maximum you will be able to lock in is $20,000. Not really. Um, so generally in banking side, a single transaction is maximum 25,000 euros or 25,000 pounds. Anything more than that, uh, you have to do another one more transaction. Um, there's a limit for it. Uh, you can do 100,000 transactions per day, but you can't do it in one transaction. So you can accumulate all that money in your earn account and then you can put it through. Uh, through your DeFi protocols, you can do 100K, 200K, 300K. But the question is how you will move 100K, 200K into your earn account. You can't move it in one go. It will take multiple transactions to move into the account and then you can put it through your uh, different DeFi protocols. So there's no minimum for earn account, how much money you can put it through. Are the validators able to slant rewards in favor of validators uh, to pay for hardware uh, and electronic costs? We we can I mean the running a validator is very is very um, uh, I mean you don't need to have a very high end hardware I already mentioned before that you need to have a four core processor with uh, sixteen gig RAM and one terabyte hard hardware uh, you can run it easily from uh, from a laptop uh, a Mac or a Linux or a Windows that's one of the beauty of Cosmos um, uh, is that you you don't need any high end uh, systems it's, it's your basic system is enough. To run it. 
how easy it is to delegate to a node. Uh, it's, it's very easy. It's already been, it's, it's, it's inside Cosmos ecosystem. It's already been in the code. So we just have to integrate to the UI. Um, and if you want to delegate, just like choosing a pool, you have to choose a pool who, where you who, to whom you want to join. And then you join that pool and then your tokens are delegated to them. And then the sharing of the rewards will happen accordingly based on the number of tokens you've been contributing to the pool as well. So it's very much like typical staking, uh, how it works, how the rewards are being are, are, are given as well, but slightly, slightly different way in, in a few ways. With that's it. how easy it is to uh, okay, that's been done. Will Scalab eventually offer lending not just loans but mortgages? And will this be fiat lending or crypto lending? So, we're only talking about crypto lending here, so we won't be able to do any fiat lending. Uh, let me be very clear uh, we are a e money organization, we are a neo bank. Uh, there is a difference between a e money and a bank or a banking license. E-money institutions or e-money service providers can hold e-money with them, can distribute e-money with anybody, uh, but they won't be able to uh, do any kind of lending or borrowing. That's the major difference between banks and e-money organizations. Banks can have a physical office, banks can hold physical cash, banks can do any transactions with uh, um, uh, all these kind of you know, uh, credit cards, debit cards, I'm oh, sorry, credit cards, mortgages, um, personal loans, but e-money organizations can't do all of them. They can only do, um, or they can only hold e-money, they can only send e-money, they can only receive e-money, they can only issue a card to that e-money, that's it. That's the major difference. Soon we will become a bank. When we become a bank, yes, we will be able to provide all these things, just like how any other bank is providing all credit cards, mortgages, whatnot, everything. And it will it may take a year, year and a half for that to, to come to um, to come in play. All right, I think um, uh, we answered most of them, but I will go through a few more questions and then I will explain. Uh, we got like around ten minutes. What benefits of ambassadors? So we answered that. Okay, I will take this question, uh, Caroline. Hi, Raj. How privacy of transactions will be treated on Scallop Chain? And we get more, as we get more and more clients, we tend to have more customers with more traditional view uh, regarding privacy of transactions. So, Caroline, in Scallop Chain, Scallop Chain is decentralized. As you just seen in in Cosmos right now in Scallop Chain, um, you will be able to see a transaction hash, a wallet sending money from one wallet to the other wallet, each and everything. But you don't know who owns that wallet uh, or from, from whose wallet to whose wallet the funds are going. It is decentralized, just like how it is right now. But as inside the ecosystem, um, we know who exactly owns that because we have the every details of that wallet and everything. And the consensus written, we made changes in the core consensus in a way that a transaction can only be sent between two regulated wallets as well. So when people see on the Explorer, they just, it just looks like any other um, ETH Explorer. But inside the ecosystem, we know who own, who are those, who are those candidates, where those funds are coming from, where those funds are going, or who owns those wallets. So there is a less chance for people to try to rug pull or do a scam here because pretty much we know who they are. And in fact, if somebody managed to scam some people and then got hold of like a million or a two million, then they can't send that money anywhere because the money is not leaving Scallop ecosystem. And obviously it will come out, hey, my money got stolen. We will investigate immediately within, nowadays it takes only a minute or two minutes to know where, because it's, everything is an explorer. It's decentralized, you can check it. We know which wallet owns all that money. We'll get out all them, we will get out of him or her, and then we will get all the details out. We will file a code file on it. And then once the, um, uh, you know, once we got the court notice and everything, you will reimburse the money back to all the wallets where the money came from. And that guy will be handed over to the grant department. So that's how inside Scallop chain uh, it works. And of course, the privacy wise, we, we fully follow GDPR and all the regulations and laws. This, all, this has already been conveyed to the respective governments in Europe and UK. The data will not be provided outside to public. It will only be shared inside the Scallop ecosystem at utmost, you know, if it is really needed, like I said, through a court notice or something, something wrong happened, then only we will be sharing the details outside. Otherwise, it won't be. I hope I answered your question. 
Um, and uh, okay, uh, hi, yes, okay, that's fine. Java, I hope I can be an ambassador. I can, oh, Java, you're already an ambassador, so uh, please feel free to join the league. Um, and uh, will you propose tokenized stock for Scallop Chain? Absolutely. No, I mean, no other chain can do it. Tokenizing a stock. Tokenizing a stock is a security, and you need to have a security license. Once we have a security license, we will be, we, we are also working with our broker license as well. So we will be a broker license for the stock side. We will get the stocks, and then we will have a security license to tokenize the stock. So pretty much we are regulated on both sides to do this, to operate this whole system. And then obviously you guys, uh, we will be providing that as well once we acquire those licenses. Without licenses, we're not doing anything. So it will take a while. Uh, once we get those, once we get these two licenses, we will be doing. And Scallop Chain is the best place to do it. If anybody wants to do it, anybody wants to run any kind of regulatory services, they can do it on because you know, to buy a stock, you need to know who they are without knowing it because you need to issue a share certificate to that person. And only on Scallop Chain it can be done because we know who that wallet is. So once a wallet buys a stock, we will issue a share certificate on the name of the wallet who owns the wallet directly to them. So that's pretty much uh, taken care of as well in that way. Uh, US, Fed, India, Russia, to name a few, are all talking about making their own stable coins. Is there, if this is what happens, how would you work with our ecosystem? Jason, that's a, I mean, I, I don't know, that's, that's, that's good for us because <clears throat> you're talking about CBDC here. If they make a CBDC, let's assume China made their CBDC, EN, but EN is only used in China. It is not used outside China. Okay, if Russia makes their own CBDC, it is inside Russia. It is not going anywhere out. If India making e rupee, it is staying inside India. Let let them make it. It's good for us because Scallop Chain is the only regulated blockchain global wide. We will link all these CBDCs on Scallop Chain. So as a result, indirectly everyone has to Scallop Chain even the CBDCs to move across the zones because we are the only one connected across. So it's, it's, it's in fact, it's good for us because governments are encouraging it and in, indirectly the regulated version of a token. So that's good for us. And, and, and it's not gonna harm us at all. In fact, it will help us actually. So do you do you or Scallop team have any target for a CLP mean, any expected uh, price? Um, well, I, I don't, price is not really, um, you know, price is just like a number to me. I'm not bothered about the price because my target, um, uh, my aim is to fulfill the de deliverables, what we're planning to do. When we deliver, Scallop Chain, when we deliver, Scallop App, I mean, there's no stopping for us. Uh, so price is just a number. It, it's, it's, it just goes up and down. What I request or what I tell community is, you know, just look at the, 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 the real assets behind a project or a company who they are, what they have, what they're doing, and it will it will affect accordingly. So, and in fact, I don't, I don't want to, we're not supposed to comment on the price as well as the founders. So, and again, I always request everyone, please do your own research. This is what I'm keep telling, look into the project, what exactly they're doing, are they real, are they not, what they're talking, uh, is what they really have any licenses or regulations, whatever it is, you know, I, I don't encourage anyone. I'm openly saying, don't buy a scallop coin until unless you do your own research. And this is what it's I'm telling. Please do your own research. Please be vigilant. You know, a lot of people try to scam. So please be vigilant and do your own research before doing anything. And uh, and that's everything I can tell. And apart from that, I, I can't talk about anything about the price here. Thank you, Suman. And, uh, uh, any update on ambassador program? Yes, it will be released very soon. We are finalizing the candidates. Um, as a four-year staker, I plan to run a node. Uh, one, can we run a node and keep the four-year rewards? Um, it depends. You, I mean, if you if you want to stake only enough tokens, uh, which is needed to run a node, and then you can keep the rest in your four years uh, reward pool as well. So um, it depends upon how how you like to make use of. Some people might prefer to move all their four-year stakers to running a node, so it's up to them. Uh, but there is an option as well, which we are working on, so that you can keep enough tokens uh, in the POI system and rest everything in four years uh, staking. And, and that is something. And also, I want to add one more thing is that um, elite membership. Elite membership, to be eligible for elite membership, 
um, the law, I mean, the rule, the rule is you have to stake your tokens for one year. Unfortunately, we can't accept people who stake their tokens for more than one year because elite membership has to renew every year because of the insurance attached, because of the priority pass attached. We have to keep renewing it. Now, it's up to the user. We don't know whether the user like to renew it or not because as per the law, we have the option has to be with the user. The user has to choose that, hey, I want to uh, extend my period. So when the elite membership goes live, there will be another option for four years, three years, two years stakers. They have to move enough tokens, like $2,500 worth of tokens initially, to the elite membership staking pool, where they become automatically the elite membership. So that kind of thing will also be, also be implemented as well coming down the line. Hope I answered all your questions. Looks like we don't have any more questions. I've got five more minutes. Um, anyone like to ask any question, please feel free to ask me. Okay, sorry if this has happen, have been asked. Any update on four-year poll? Yes, it will come in three weeks. Um, the program has already been um, developed and we are, it's in testing phase right now. Can you explain how Scallop token used or transferred to Cosmos uh, since now all the Scallop token is in it wallet? Uh, so it's, as I mentioned, uh, so we have Scallop in the center. And we have ETH, Ethereum, we have BSC, we have Polygon. Uh, inside Cosmos, Scallop chain is connected to other chains through IBC. And then we will have a, another IBC which goes out to the other chains, which will come in very soon as well. And in this connection, it's not a bridge. In this connection, you'll have a centralized substation. We call it as Scallop substations. So if you want to move your Scallop from ETH or from Binance to Scallop chain, you have to, of course, first of all, register on Scallop chain through a web extension or through a web app or through mobile app, get your Scallop wallet. You can use Scallop's own wallet or you can use MetaMask as well. You have to add Scallop chain to your MetaMask. And then you have to give your Binance based Scallop tokens to Scallop substation. You have to submit your tokens to Scallop substation Scallop will, substation will take your tokens and then deposits Scallop tokens in Scallop chain in your respective wallet. So that is how it's, 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 it's a brand new system which we are working out and it's it's proven to be, uh, it's, it's already been proven to be working. It's very, because it's already been using in, in exchanges like Binance or KuCoin where you can, you can deposit USDT in ETH and you can withdraw USDT in, you know, um, in, 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 in uh, uh, Tron chain or other chains, whatever it is. It, it's, it's kind of a centralized way because Scallop substations are fully protected with the uh, chain analysis and other transaction monitoring systems. We can track funds, where the funds came from. If somebody tried to deposit um, maybe a 10 ETH or 20 ETH, you know, we will check their history in the back and we'll check the connections of that wallet, whether it got any money from any dark webs or any, you know, fraudulent wallets or anywhere. We don't accept those funds. And so Substation's job is to take care of all the transactions and coming in and going out and monitoring it. And then the movement will happen. Okay, and uh, will the scallop biggest USB over any of its competitors and what's stopping them copying Scallop's model? A good question. I mean, licenses, they need to have all the licenses to run all these things. And uh, and of course, now we already been done it, of course, we are the first one and somebody will try to do it as well. So it's, 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 it's something guys, first, um, Bitcoin came, ETH copied and did very similar one opposite. And then Binance came, Binance copied it, and even all the explorers and everything, just forking. So people will come. So I see maybe 10 or 20 projects maybe following us down the line as well, doing the same. So uh, we, people will try to copy it, but we are unique. We are, we are, we've been in this one, and it took us three years to come here. So for somebody to do this, they may need three more years to do it from now onwards. So you have to consider that as well in mind. So how big do you think 
earn account earn account will be has anything been done like this yeah there are there are some people yeah i mean coming to the earn side a lot of people did it let me be very honest um so they're not like accounts no one did with bank accounts people did with wallets there are some people uh, who've been doing it with wallets if you have a fiat wallet you can do it even in binance even in coinbase they are doing it if you have fiat inside it but not with a bank account that's the major difference. We are doing it directly with the bank account. For example, if you have money in your bank account, you don't have to send it to anywhere else. Just click the respective protocols like Compound, Aave, or Anchor, and then we'll just put it through and then you will earn the rewards. You don't have to use any external apps. That's what it's all about. Uh, any news about the Bug Hunter program, about T-shirts, Scallop Hub wallets, the app, and was um, so, well, bug bounty competition, we, um, that, that will be very, very, uh, it will close in, a, in a, I think maybe in four weeks. Once it's closed, most of the user, I think most of the users reported as bugs. So they all will be getting the tokens. Uh, T-shirts, uh, there are, actually we have, among all the people, among all the uh, staking 1.8 million tokens we got, 60% of the tokens are staked for four years, still a huge number, even we closed the four year staking. And we're still waiting for some of the people, four year stakers hasn't filled the form yet. So we try to contact them. We will wait for a few more days. If they don't come back, then we're gonna close it because we might not open the t-shirt program again. That is why we are still giving a chance for them to come and fill the form so they will be able to get. And once the form is closed, we will announce the form is closed. That means, guys, your T-shirts dispatch will start in a week. And then you will be able to get in another two weeks, yeah. very much. And then once you get the T-shirt, you have to wear the T-shirt or you have to take a picture of the T-shirt separately. You have to post it on Twitter and then tag us, tag your friends, and then send that to us. We will give you a free hardware wallet following that. Do we have a partnership with Terra and are we doing, do we, it will come, eventually it will happen. We all are building on the same place. So all these announcements will come very, very soon down the line. Caroline, uh, please raise the minimum of elite membership. We need to paying fee on the platform investors with high limits of the league. So Caroline, uh, right now the elite membership eligibility is at 75% discount. That means it's originally it's actually ten thousand dollars. We have, we gave seventy five percent discount. So only to attract more people, upgrade to elite membership, uh, we reduced it right now. So only two thousand five hundred dollars. After some time, it will become fifty percent off only. That is five thousand dollars. After some time, it will become seven thousand five hundred dollars. Only twenty five percent discount. Then no discount ten thousand dollars. So it will be just like any other program it is. So we need to have more elite members. More people use elite members. Uh, more people will know about it and they start upgrading as well. And of course, they save a lot of money. People do a lot of exchanges. Elite membership is more beneficial because it's 1% exchange fee. So yes, we we uh, consider uh, what you said and uh, we will make changes accordingly down the line. Yeah. And of course, there will be inflation as well every year as usual, like any other program. Will all scale up convert to scale up chain native or can remain on? Yeah, there will be some remain on BSC. Uh, there will be some guys who say, I don't want to use Scallop chain. I don't want to use Scallop product. I don't want to do anything, but I just want to hold Scallop. So yes, we do have option for people to hold Scallop on Binance chain. So people wants to come into Scallop ecosystem, want to use Scallop products. You have to move your tokens from Binance chain to Scallop chain, and then you can uh, use Scallop services. Uh, what's the future plan beyond Norwich sponsorship for sports after this season ends? They just just sponsored. Yeah, you don't believe Man United uh, approached us as well, but unfortunately, we haven't got, we haven't raised uh, uh, enough money to. I mean, we won't be able to sponsor them. Let, 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 let me put it in that way. We've been approached by a lot of people. We had huge attention, uh, and in fact, uh, somehow we became a lucky charm to them. Um, so we've been offered a lot of discount as well to sponsor them as well. So some exciting announcements, sponsorships, and also a lot more are coming. Some good deeds as well. We are trying to help some, you know, people who, who are in need as well. A lot, a lot will come. All these things will be come in place after me. Uh, that is the right time uh, to announce. So we are trying to do as much as we can, and then you will be excited uh, after hearing those news. Okay, and uh, any crypto ball? Um, we will we'll keep you posted on all these things. 
Um, please stay tuned to our announcements. A lot more are coming, so we will keep you posted on Super Bowl, all those things. We'll, we will be okay. I will take the last two questions, and then after that, we will close the session. Uh, we will be will will we be able to in future to stake in multiple pools from wallet address, for example, person four years. Yes, you will be able to. Uh, that will be also implemented in the new staking program, which is going live. Just for the reference, Bank of America requires me to keep uh, 20K in my account to keep elite number. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, banks, of course, ask you to keep a lot of money to keep your elite checking account. As I mentioned before, right now we are at a 75% discount. That is why it is 2,500. I mean, I don't know whether our people know or not. To have the highest tier membership in crypto.com, you have to hold $400,000 worth of money. Do you know that? So we are at a bargain, to be honest. And after some time, more people register for elite membership, um, the numbers will keep going up. But of course, I try to not to keep 20K that much as banks keeping because we are not like fully a bank. But when scale up becomes a bank, it will go to 10,000. Now 2,500, 5,000, 7,500, 10,000, and then maybe 12,000, 15,000, depending upon it. Uh, but it will slowly, slowly goes um, goes up accordingly. But we are one of the uh, cheapest requirements uh, to become a elite member in the entire ecosystem because I want to bring this to a normal person so that normal person should enjoy these benefits as well. That's why I kept it very low uh, because I, ca I came from a very you know a low background as well. So I want everyone to enjoy Scallop benefits, Scallop services, and of course when people start using it use cases will go up, we all will grow, and then the numbers can grow up. That's kind of the plan we have. <clears throat> okay, um, thank you very much. I think uh, I answered everyone's questions. Um, um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, uh, I will take this last question and stop it. Uh, Caroline says trading fees won't be high for long. We need service fees for the long run as well. There will be a lot of service fees will be coming, coming in as well. Uh, because it's just not exchange services. So when you buy or sell buy crypto using fiat or sell crypto using fiat, yeah, when you it, when it's automatically depositing in the bank accounts, there will be a small deposit charge. But even you compare with crypto.com, who charge around three percent, Coinbase around two point four, two point five, Revolut around two point four, two point five. We are far lower than them. Our aim is give. I mean, charge less exchange fee, but grab more, you know, get more user base. So we kind of e equate our efforts over there. That's the main thing. We need more users on board. That's what we are mainly using. Uh, well, that's the main tactic we are playing in here so that even a common person can use our services. I mean, people who got a lot of crypto, they can go anywhere and they can do it, but not everybody can use it. So that's our main aim and uh, thank you very much thanks everyone for your time uh, and uh, to you know thanks for being part of the community catch up and uh, you guys will be able to view this video after this ama in youtube uh, please subscribe please like um, and, and you know, please leave your comments um, um, in the chat and we will catch up in the next ama thank you thank you very much guys take care have a great week and weekend see you next week bye bye